And let's bring in Wang Yi Wei for more on these diplomatic moves and Wang Yi's visit here to Washington, D.C. He specializes in international affairs and Sino-U.S. relations at Renmin University. Um, it, let me first start off by, uh, by the fact that the U.S. and China have come together on, the, on this resolution dealing with the DPRK that's now gone before the U.N. Um, give me your thoughts on that. Well, I think this is a signal that is sent to the world that China and the United States have lots of uh, cooperation uh, space uh, over the hotspots and other challenges. Uh, China, and, uh, I think, and the United States are uh, really against uh, the nuclear test of North Korea. But at the same time, the uh, United States also should respect the Chinese uh, national uh, security consideration that uh, destroyed the SAD missile de uh, defense system in, South, China, uh, in uh, South Korea. <clears throat> is uh, uh, undermining Chinese uh, national security. Uh, actually, it's not work so much uh, for uh, the South Korea because South Korea and North Korea is so close. Uh, at the same time, uh, the sanctions towards DPRK also should take a Chinese consideration that uh, uh, the neutral test is so close to uh, to Chinese territory. If the sanctions uh, let any uh, tumors in uh, North Korea, the millions of the refugees will be pouring to Chinese territory. It's like what happened in uh, Europe. This, I think, uh, uh, maybe uh, this time, the uh, United States uh, respects Chinese concerns. So they reached the final UN, UN Nations uh, resolution. And, and one of the things the, the, the China, uh, Chinese diplomatic uh, corps has been and pushing, of course, is six-party talks, getting back uh, everyone at the, at the table and trying to work out some kind of diplomatic uh, solution. Uh, talk to me about the importance of that. Well, firstly, I think China and the United States and other, other six parties uh, uh, reached a consensus and that not recognize uh, North Korea as a nuclear state. Uh, this nuclear test uh, cannot be uh, accepted and also need uh, more United Nations sanctions. Uh, the, in, a, in the long term, uh, of course, it's need a peace talk uh, to, uh, for this uh, dismantling the nuclear uh, program of the North Korea. Yeah, and one of the other things that's interesting is uh, there's been so much focus on the South China Sea, and I'll, I'll ask you about that in just a minute, but, but there's also been, uh, over the last few years, uh, more military to military contact between China and the United States. Um, how important is that, and, and do you see that evolving uh, moving forward? Well, the Chinese-American uh, uh, mutual relations is, uh, is a test of the uh, so-called new type of great power relations. Uh, there is a symmetric uh, consideration uh, between uh, each side. For China, we are more concerned about the national security, sovereignty, uh, either in the South China Sea and other places. Uh, for the United States, we are more concerned about uh, the, la the military uh, freedom of navigation and uh, also the bilateral military uh, alliance with the Philippines and other countries in Asia Pacific. So this is kind of the, uh, the, the reason of the dispute. I think uh, this time we should uh, reach the consensus that China should uh, also re respect the, the Americans' military existence uh, in, uh, in this region. That has historical reason. Uh, but we are not undermining this uh, bilateral system. Uh, at the same time, uh, but uh, Americans uh, uh, bash China of the militarization in this uh, region is also unfair because the military built up is not a militarization. Uh, the Americans is more use uh, the militarization in the Chinese words. Uh, with the, uh, to undermine Chinese uh, national security. Uh, this, is, I think, uh, is something we need to talk about. All right, Wang Yi Wei joining us from uh, Beijing with his thoughts 